In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the WhatsApp for Business app to push your business further. The WhatsApp for Business app is different from the normal WhatsApp that we are used to, but it is from the same company. It was created with a small business owner in mind and it allows you to create a catalog of your products and services. It also allows you to connect with your customers easily by using tools to automate, sort and quickly respond to messages. By the end of the video, you'll be able to download, install and set up WhatsApp for Business for your business. I will also go through the features of WhatsApp for Business which include creating a catalog, messaging tools and short links. Last but not least, I will answer some frequently asked questions such as can you set up multi users and can you still use the personal WhatsApp after installing and setting up WhatsApp for business. It's Ndafara from NKT Studios and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this channel, we share technical tutorials as well as software demos. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and let's get into it. The first thing that we have to do is to go to the App Store or Play Store depending on your platform to download WhatsApp for business. I am using Android, so I'm just gonna go to the Play Store and then search for WhatsApp business. And then I'm gonna select the first option and then click on install. When it's done downloading, just click on open to open it. It will then ask you to agree to the terms and conditions. So I'm just gonna click here, agree and continue. As you can see here, it picked up the number of my normal WhatsApp and is asking me if I want to use that for WhatsApp for business. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to click on use a different number. The next thing that I need to do is just to verify my phone number. So I just need to put in my number and then it will send an SMS with a code that I then need to input in. So I'm just going to put in my number and then click on next. It will then ask you to verify your number. If the number is correct, just click on OK. And then it's going to send an SMS with a verification code, which I need to put in here. I have received the code on my phone, so I'm just going to put it here. And then it starts the verification. Once the verification is complete, it's going to ask for access to your contacts, devices, photos, media and files. I'm just going to click on continue here. And then allow it to access my contacts. And then allow it to access my photos, media and files on my device, because this is where my NKT Studios photos are stored. So I'm going to click on allow. And with that, I can start creating my business profile. If you'd converted your normal WhatsApp to the business WhatsApp, it would have pulled in your profile picture. But because this is a new setup, there's nothing. So I'm just gonna click here and then select gallery and then select this one. Then I'm just gonna crop it to just reflect the name. And then when done, just click on done. As you can see, my profile picture is now saying NKT Studios. For the business, I'm gonna put in NKT Studios as well. And then you need to choose a category. I'm gonna select education. And then I'm just gonna click on show more options to see the fields for description and business address. Remember WhatsApp business is ideal for local and small businesses. That's why you need to put in the address. On the description, I'm going to put in, we provide awesome technical tutorials and software demos. And then I'm gonna scroll up so that I can put in the address. So here you should just put in your address. This is not my address. This is actually Google's address, but it's just fine for demonstration. And then click on next. And then as you can see, we have a problem with our name. It's saying your business name doesn't follow our naming guidelines. This may prevent your account from being listed as an official business account. Do you want to use it? So I need to edit my name. So on the guidelines, you're not supposed to capitalize anything except the first letter. So I'm just gonna change this from capital letter K and T to small letters, and then click on next. And then it will ask for confirmation of your address. I'm just going to click update. And then it starts the initialization. With this, we are ready to use WhatsApp for business. As you can see, we've got business profile, catalog and messaging tools. So you can just click on explore to set them up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on not now so that you can see that this WhatsApp for business is the same as your normal WhatsApp. We've got chats, status, as well as calls, which is similar to what you have on your personal WhatsApp. It also gives you a summary of all your contacts that are also on WhatsApp so that you can chat with them. Now just click on the menu options. And as you can see, we have the same options as we have on the normal WhatsApp, except for business tools and labels. I'm going to click on business tools. And as you can see, we get the same options that we got when we first launched WhatsApp for business. That is with the business profile catalog and then the messaging tools. I'm just gonna click on the business profile. And as you can see, your business profile contains your business information and it allows you to manage your address, business hours, websites, as well as the tagline. To edit this information, just click on this pencil thing here and then you can see all your details. If you scroll up, 
you can see where you can put in your business hours, email, as well as the website. And on the last item, that's where you can change your tagline. Now I'm going to click on the catalog. The catalog is a core feature of WhatsApp for business app, and it is where you add your business's products and services. As you can see here, I don't have anything. So all I have to do is just click on add item. And then I can click on add images to add the images of the product or service. And then just select the image and then put in the item name. For this product, I'm gonna call it tutorials. And then you can optionally put in the price. Click on more fields to review the description link and item code fields that you can also complete. When done, just click on save and this will save the product or service and take you back to the catalog manager page. As you can see, I now have a tutorials product in my catalog. To share this catalog with your contacts, just click on this link button here. And then you'll be able to copy the link or share the link or even send the link via WhatsApp business. That's all there is about the catalog. So let me just go back and then we can take a look at the messaging tools. The first one I'm gonna take a look at is the away message. As the name implies, it is the response that is sent when you're away. Let me just click on it so that we can see the options. In order to edit the changes, you have to turn it on first. So just click on this toggle to turn on the away messages. Here on the away message, that's when you type the message that will be sent when your customers reach you and you are away. On the schedule, that's when you can set up whether you always send the message or you can create your custom schedule or you can say outside of business hours. So if you set your business hours and then you select outside of business hours here, it will send the message when it is outside of business hours. I'm gonna leave always send selected. And then on the recipients, that's where you can set out where the away message is sent to. So if you click on it, you can see the options. So you can send the away message to everyone or to everyone not in the address book or to everyone except or, or you can only send it to selected contacts. After making your changes, you need to save. And then as you can see, our changes were saved. Next up is the greeting message. The greeting message is a message that is automatically sent as a reply to either the first message someone sends you or the first message someone sends you after 14 days of no activity. To turn it on, just click on the toggle button here. And then this is where you can edit the greeting message. For me, I'm just gonna keep the default. You can also control who gets the message by filtering out other contacts by clicking on the recipients button. As you can see, it is similar to what we saw on the away message. Once you've done all your changes, click on save to save your changes. As you can see, our changes were saved. Next up, we're gonna take a look at quick replies. Quick replies is a nifty feature that is designed to save you time by creating templates of messages that you'd normally send out frequently. So instead of typing them over and over again, you will just use the quick reply and you to put in the contents of that reply. To use them when I'm chatting with a customer, all I have to do is put in the forward slash and then choose the quick reply that I want to use. The example that is given is forward slash thanks. So when I'm chatting to a customer and I just put in forward slash, I can then choose thanks and then it will put in thank you for business. We we'll look forward to working with you again in the contents of that reply. To add a new quick reply, just click on this plus sign and then you can put in the message, for example, test, and then the shortcut, forward slash, test. And then when you're typing, if you just put in forward slash test, it will put in this message. I'm not going to save this, so I'm just gonna close here and then click on discard and then go back to business tools. To demonstrate the quick replies, I'm just going to go to my charts, create a new chart and then pick a contact. If I put in forward slash thanks, you can see the template comes up. Now if I select it, it inputs it with what we set the template with. This is how you would use a quick reply. Next up, we've got labels. Labels is where you can identify and organize your customers and chats. So for example, if it's a new customer, you can mark them with new customer. Or if you're chatting with a customer and they've got a pending payment, you can mark them with pending payment. To create more labels, just click on this plus sign here, and then you can create your new label. Now let me just go back to my charts and demonstrate using a label. So to demonstrate marking this contact as a new customer, just click on the options here and then label chart and then mark them as new customer and then save. Now if I go back to my business tools and select labels, you can see for new customers, I've got one item and we've got that contact marked as new customer. Last but not least, we've got the short link. A short link is a link that you can share with your customers and potential customers about your WhatsApp business profile and allow them to connect with you. You can also set up a message that can be used by customers when they use the short link to contact you. For example, in this instance, if I turn it on, the message will be, 
hello i'm interested in one of your products you can edit here but i'm just gonna leave it as the default and click on cancel so to share the message you can either just copy it here or you can click on share link and then share the link now i'm going to answer some frequently asked questions question one can you set up multi users on whatsapp for business sadly the answer is no currently you cannot share a whatsapp for business account with two people but this can change in the future however you can use whatsapp for web for the same number to give access to more than one user if you need this functionality take a look at the whatsapp api which i cover in the next video question two can you still use the personal whatsapp after installing whatsapp for business the short answer is no if you convert your personal whatsapp to whatsapp for business you will no longer be able to use that number for your personal whatsapp the way around this is to have two numbers that is one for your personal whatsapp and the other for your whatsapp business just like i demonstrated in this video i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them thank you for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one